Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about the add-on module called MedMod so we can uh, do mediation and moderation beyond um, adding things to our SPSS maybe like in the form of process uh, which is a module that you can add into your SPSS which is where a lot of people end up doing their mediation and moderation. In this case we are going to add a module to our Jamovi here and before we get into it, we are going to uh, mention that this is version 1.8.2 of Jamovi at, at the time of recording. And um, you can get this module by clicking on the plus sign here and uh, going into manage installed and scrolling down till you find, again, this is not in alphabetical order, scrolling down, scrolling, 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 scrolling. And we're going to find MedMod by Robbie Selker, who does a lot of modules for Jamovi, which is awesome. This module allows you to do simple mediation and moderation analyses. So that is what we are going to do. Um, I got to, I got to grab it. So let's do MedMod. Um, and we are, so you can do this and you can have it shown in the main menu or not. And that's what the hide function does. Um, and we are going to jump into mediation and moderation because I don't, oh, there it is. It's a uh, med mod. It was hiding, um, next to behavior change and simply agree there. So we will go to mediation moderation, or you can do the jam GLM mediation, uh, the J A M M, which is the GLM mediation module in this tutorial. We're just going to talk about the mediation and moderation. And again, these are simple ways to do mediation and moderation. You just plug and play and we'll, we'll, we'll look at that in just a second. Um, the other thing that I want to mention before we jump into this is I already have the data open for this particular uh, for this particular tutorial. This is the Coop MedMod data set, uh, data set, which you can get by um, going into uh, the Jamovi window here, the hamburger menu, going to open and going into the data library. And if you install MedMod, it will also install the advanced mediation models folder. And that's where I found it. So you can do mediation and moderation. Um, Annoyingly, the description of it is blocked by the, the tags here, mediation, conditional mediation, and moderation. Cooperative behavior experiment from somebody. I'm so sorry that I cannot see who it is from. <laughs> um, and moderation is mediated and mediation is moderated. Like that's, I mean, those are the only words we can see here, which is kind of annoying. Um, so let's jump into uh, this. So we're going to do mediation first, and then we'll do moderation. So mediation is described as a way to change a linear relationship between two variables. So instead of a direct relationship between variable A and variable B, there is a mediating variable. That is a variable in the middle that act A actually works on, and then that variable then works on B, and these are indirect paths. So A works to C, and then C works to B instead of A directly to B. So that's what the mediator is going to do. And I don't know enough about these three variables, SVO, EXP, and BEH, to determine what's what, but we are just going to throw some stuff in here just to see what the output looks like and to show you. I mean, as I said, it's not terribly difficult um, where you're going to, obviously, you're going to know when you use this for your own data, what's a dependent variable, what's the mediator, and what's the predictor. So a predictor here would be our A or our X, dependent variable would be our B or our Y, and the mediator is... Uh, in this nomenclature, either C or Z, depending on um, how you want to do this. A to B becomes the direct path, and um, A to C, C to, to B becomes our indirect paths. And so when you see this table here, you see indirect and direct. These are the effects that we're talking about, the A to B or the A to C to B path. That would be the indirect path. So let's go ahead and throw in behavior as our dependent variable because uh, BEH just seems like it's the right one for, for this. Um, I don't know what's going to be the mediator. I could be doing this completely and utterly right. We'll see. Um, so just by putting these in, we get um, the... Uh, the data output because it's it, it, it's an ongoing process, right? So we get our um, our estimates for our relationships for indirect and direct. We get our standard errors. We get our Z scores for this, and the Z score is um, computed against the Z distribution, which tells us whether or not those direct or indirect effects are um, significant or not. So we we compare that p value against our alpha of 0.05, and we we get to see whether or not that's true. Um, now. The estimation method for the standard errors is by default at standard, but we can do a bootstrap value. And um, so if I click on bootstrap, since you already saw the standard, my computer is going to work this a thousand different times to get new standard errors. So we'll let that compute. There we go. And you can see the standard errors really um, don't, they changed a little bit, actually. They changed a little bit, and the z-scores changed, and the p-values changed for that, uh, because the direct effect was less than 0.001, uh, and now it is, point, it is equal to 0 0.005. So that did change. Other other things we can get, we can get our path estimates here. So this will show you uh, our A to, you know, our A to B, EXP to BEH. That's down there at the bottom. It's slightly annoying. But these are your um, estimates here and our, our Z values here. Okay. So, and then our uh, mediator to BEH, which is our um, C to B, and then our A to C paths, right? So here we go. And then you can also get the estimate plot, the indirect effect over here, and then the estimates over here. Uh, labels, there we go. There's our A, C, C plus A. Oh, see, these are our path diagram. Okay, so the labels don't really help. 
So I'm going to turn those off because that's not how we've been. That's not how we've been sh sharing it. Uh, we can get our confidence intervals on our standard errors here. Okay. Um, for both tables. And then we can get our percent mediation. And uh, looks as though there is um, not very much medi percent mediation um, in our indirect effect. I, and it's, it's interesting here because I could have these in the opposite direction. I could have these in the wrong place. Let's put that up there and put, let's put SVO up here and see what happens. It's going to do the bootstraps. It's going to do the, the plots. So let's see what happens here. There we go. Uh, so not better. Not better. But oh well. Like I said, we're just messing around with with a uh, with this data set because it's already set up to be sort of the mediation. So that's how you do mediation in MedMod, the additional module. Let's go ahead and do uh, let's grab MedMod again and grab moderation here. And this will open up a new um, a new module panel here for moderation. Now, moderation is defined as essentially an interacting variable. It interacts with your predictor, your inner your um, uh, independent variable to produce a differential outcome on your dependent variable. So you have a um, a predictor to dependent variable, and then you cross that with the moderator to, to show what the differential impact. So a common moderator is gender, for example, a dichotomous gender, so a uh, man or woman. Uh, and we, we would put like, a, you know, a predictor and see whether or not the outcome changes for men versus women. So that's the kind of, so it's an interaction term, essentially, uh, not the same as mediating variable. So you don't want to get those confused. And so I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm just going to put these in in the order that they appear here. So the behavior is predicting and the uh, experiment, the EXP, maybe that's experience. I don't know. Uh, the EXP here is the moderator. So we're, what we're doing is we're taking that and changing that uh, BEH variable in different situations. For every for every value of EXP, we're seeing whether the we're seeing whether that that changes the outcome of the SVO variable. And so down here is where we're at. I wish this, I could scroll this a little bit better for you. But um, the bottom here. So we have an estimate for BEH by itself. We have an estimate for EXP by itself. And then we have that moderating term, the interact interaction term. So BEH and EXP or BEH by EXP. Um, and that that shows us a little bit more. And again, we can do the estimation methods for the standard errors. So we can do standard or bootstrap. I'm not gonna do bootstrap again. Um, we can get the estimates and the plot. So this will show you um, a typical plotting, which is taking the, um, normally the average would not be, the average line would not be there. You would only see a minus one standard deviation and a plus one standard deviation line to show you what the interaction looks like. And this is a giant crossover interaction for what I've created here. Um, the simple slope estimates are for these lines. Okay, so low, that's why it's negative, and then the high is positive, and you can see why that would be the case, where the average is that. So this table here applies to the simple slope plot, and so if you were to take a regression-only course, so a course that is designed just to teach you correlation through uh, multiple regression and uh, mediation and moderation, you would do these kinds of plots. Like I said, probably without the uh, blue average line in here. Um, test statistics is marked by um, uh, default, and so that's this box here, but you can also get confidence intervals. And again, you would see whether or not your interaction is significant. And we can see that our interaction here is significant. And if we take out the um, blue line here, you could see that this giant crossover interaction, uh, the, the two lines crossing over each other, is pretty indicative of an interaction. So as you know, BEH increases, what does, um, what does somebody lower in um, EXP do on SVO versus somebody higher on EXP do on SVO? And that's where you see these two lines. Okay, so that is how you do moderation in MedMod, and that's MedMod. Uh, there is one more module, but we are going to skip it, the, the jam uh, aspect of this uh, JLM mediation model. That's not part of MedMod itself, so we are going to skip that, and I'm, I've never looked at that before, so I don't want to um, explore it <laughs> by myself. So that is how you do MedMod in Jamovi, the additional module in Jamovi. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more statistics tutorials, Jamovi, Jasp, what have you, uh, tech tutorials psych content, lectures, chats, VODs, those kinds of things. Thank you so much for watching this video.